Welcome sa ating channel. We are here to talk about the Ryujin 2 360. Yes, Asus is very very familiar sa atin dahil nga sa kanya motherboard components and recently we are now hearing a lot about Asus very good cooling systems. Pero at the same time, pricey. Well, sa intro pa lang natin, mapapansin nyo na that I will be a bit critical on this benchmark. Given that, of course, if you will check on the benchmark later, you will be amazed on how Asus made a very good or perfect coolers for everyone. But, there's a but. Now, let's find out what do I mean on that. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Now before I will talk about the benchmark and the results kung bakit ko nagugustuhan tong Ryujin 2 or 360, let me share first na ito pong benchmark natin is meron po siyang testing methodology that you may check on the video that I uploaded before. So I have uploaded a dedicated video para sa lahat ng CPU coolers na benchmark ko. Pero to cut that part sa ating mga succeeding videos about CPU coolers para hindi masyadong humaba, yun na lang po yung gagawin yung reference about the testing methodology on how I gathered all the data so that we can go directly to the point on how this cooler performs. Now, with that being said, let's move on and talk about the benchmarks. Unang benchmark na ipapakita ko sa inyo is the 80 watts max RPM. Ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng fans, pump at a full speed. And dito, you will spot the 360 Ryujin 2. Quite performing well at the top. Pero yes, of course, there are certain coolers that on 80 watts, they may perform better. Pero Ryujin 2 is quite the superior one if you are going for a mainstream brand. That is quite obvious given the competition na meron po siya. And that is also given na ito po yung mga local coolers na available here in the Philippines kaya ito po yung mga ginamit ko in the comparison. Pero sooner or later, we will have more on the line. Pero for now, Ryujin 2 is the clear winner. And this gives you an idea that Noctua fans na meron sa Asus Ryujin 2 360 natin is really helping a lot especially if we will check the next benchmark. Pero before we we'll check on that, syempre tinan din natin yung kanyang 100 watts performance. And yes, it is still the same. 360, di ba? Kung titinan nyo naman yung kalaban niya dito, we have the Gamax Deep Pool, also performing well. We also have the Arctic Freezer that is really the superior cooler among all other coolers out there, even at 240 and 360. Pero is that really the reason why I gave Ryujin to 360 the good review pagdating sa CPU cooler? No, it's not. Dahil nga, 360 siya. Meron siyang fan sa pump, so that's a clear advantage for this. Pero the bigger reason why I want to talk about this is all about that Noctua fans. It's a very good move done by Ryujin here or by Asus here to choose Asetek as their reliable CPU pump manufacturer. At the same time, it's also a good move done by Asus and at the same time, a good move done by choosing also Noctua as their fans for their radiator. And uh, tulad yan ang mga sinasabi ko sa mga previous video, maybe Noctua is not the fastest or most aggressive cooler or fans out there. Pero Noctua Noctua is the most balanced, reliable, acoustic-wise, sobrang tahimik na mga Noctua fans. That made them the go-to choice, especially if you want to look for a cooler that is performing or a fan that is performing very well, yet hindi nakokompromise yung kanyang noise. And eto makikita nyo at a noise normalized combination, Ryujin 2 now may take advantage far beyond those other coolers in our list. And that is spotted with the 80 watts and 100 watts. Arctic Freezer is still competing and I may give them that uh, clear kumbaga, sabihin na lang natin it's a wow factor. Dahil nga, 240 lang yung lumalaban sa kanila yet it can go head to head with Asus Ryuji. Pero if you are looking for the best cooler out there, aesthetics, acoustics, and performance, and of course, brand-wise, straight Asus setup 
why not just go for an Asus Ryujin series. Sobrang ganda ng pinakita na performance. It's something that I really appreciate in here because most of the time, if a brand or a mainstream brand that is into motherboard or maybe into other products and they want to offer another product line sa kanilang choice, sometimes yung mga quite substandard yung mga ino-offer nila. Like for the case of uh, MSI, when they release their new accessories, those are quite identical with Red Dragon peripherals. Substandard. Yet cheap, maybe, pero parang it's kinda pinupul niya yung reputation na meron ng MSI. Now, if you go to MSI, it's a very good motherboard. One of the top motherboards there are years that MSI is the best motherboard. Same with the case of Gigabyte. Their power supply encountered a lot of feedbacks recently na sobrang daming nag-backfire dahil sa daming kinompromise just to offer a very good price-to-performance power supply pero it ended up in a disaster. Asus didn't do that. They maintain being a premium brand yet they also offer premium quality. Imagine having the most expensive brand of uh, fans with their cooler and also the most reliable pump for their cooler and adding the features na merong fan sa mismong CPU pump that is quite the same with the Arctic Freezer why Arctic is the clear winner compared sa other coolers out there if you will uh, remove Ryujin 2 on the list and uh, yun yung mga kumbaga ilan lang sa mga bagay kung bakit sobrang wow na appreciate ko yung ginawa ng Asus dito pero tulad na sinabi ko sa start ng video bakit may pero dahil nga for that kind of performance and features mahal pricey pero at least worth the price. Kumbaga, hindi ka naman bumili ng mahal nga, pero anong features, anong balik, di ba? So, practically wise, reasonable pa rin siya. So, it's not a price that is just overpriced or overrated, pero reasonable. Price is worth it. Now, for the final words before I will end this video, if you notice or ma-observe nyo sa ating benchmark comparisons, why Ryujin 2, why Arctic Freezer are the clear winner, makikita nyo po dyan yung isang feature na meron sila, the common denominator, and that is the fun sa kanilang pump. So, I think brands should have uh, start to adopt that uh, kind of features right now dahil ang laking tulong talaga niya to dissipate the heat. Imagine if that certain area is meron siyang umiinit na CPU or chip and that is also near or close sa kanyang mismong supply ng power na umiinit din. The VRM, the back control section is also kumbaga umiinit din yung temperature. That is why there's a heat sink and uh, I may just link it down below yung about sa VRM for further uh, details pero if meron lang sanang fan which is done by Arctic there, then at least mali lessen yung heat surrounding that CPU. And that may also help the CPU na mas ma-maintain yung cooler na temperature over dun sa walang mismong active cooling sa mismong area ng VRM besides the CPU. So yan po yung nakikita kong common denominator and that's the reason why this feature is really not just for aesthetics but more on as a functional feature for CPU coolers that other brands should now start to adapt. Hindi naman yata siguro patent itong feature nito. Diba? So that's it. That's my chill review about the Ryujin 2 360. So hopefully you have now all the data that you want to know about this Ryujin 2. There are still other features that I may add on this like that LCD display sa kanyang mismong CPU pump and also yes, uh, very good uh, design ng kanyang tubings. Uh, very good uh, insulation. <laughs> Nabubulol ako sa ins... Insu insular <laughs> insulator <laughs> anyway yun uh, thermal uh, insulation but ang bata ko bulol na bulol dun <laughs> so that's it and for more videos like this feel free to subscribe